Aspiration is to know Thee and serve Thee better every day. What do outer circumstances matter? They seem to me each day more vain and illusory, and I take less and less interest in what is going to happen to us in the outer life. But more and more am I intensely interested in the one thing which seems important. to me to know thee better in order to serve thee better all outer events must converge upon this goal and this goal alone and for that all depends upon the attitude we have towards them to see thee constantly in all things to want to manifest thee ever better in every circumstance in this attitude lies supreme peace perfect serenity true contentment in it life blossoms widens expands so magnificently in such majestic waves that no storm can any longer disturb it o lord thou art a safeguard our only happiness thou art a resplendent light A pure love, our hope and strength, to our alive, the reality of our being, in a reverent and joyful adoration, I bow to Thee. How many different levels there are in consciousness this word should be reversed for what is illumined in a being by thy presence is identified with thee and partakes of thy absolute consciousness for that which has knowledge that which is perfectly awakened as the buddha says outside this state there are infinite grades of consciousness going right down to complete darkness the veritable inconscience which may be a domain yet untouched by the light of thy divine love but this seems improbable in physical substance or which is for some kind of reason of ignorance outside our individual range of perception this is however only a way of speaking and a very incomplete one for when the being becomes aware of thy presence and is identified with thy consciousness it is conscious in all things and everywhere but the fleeting duration of this supreme consciousness can be explained only by the complexity of the elements of the being by their unequal illumination and by the fact that they enter into activity successively 
it is moreover because of this successive activity that they can gradually become aware of themselves as a result of their experiences both objective and subjective which are really one and the same that is discover the in their unfathomable essence the subconscious is the intermediate zone between precise perception and ignorance total darkness it is probable that most beings even human beings live constantly in this subconscious few emerge from it this is the conquest that is to be made for to be conscious in the true sense of the word is to be thyself integrally and is not this the very definition of the work to be accomplished the mission to be fulfilled upon earth deliver us o lord from darkness grant that we may become perfectly awake sweet master of love grant that all my consciousness may be concentrated in thee so that i may live only by love and light and that love and light may radiate through me and awaken in all our on our journey may this physical journey be like a symbol of our action and may we leave everywhere a trace of thee like a trail of light and love o divine master eternal teacher to livest in all things in all beings and thy love burst upon the sight of even the most ignorant grant that all may become aware of it in the depths of their being and that hatred may disappear forever from their hearts my ardent gratitude rises to thee like a tireless child march 14 1914 March 14 1914 In the immutable solitude of the desert there is something of time majestic presence and i understand why one of the best means of finding thee has always been to withdraw into this into these immense stretches of sand but for one who knows thee to are everywhere in all things and none of them seems more suitable than another for manifesting thee for all things that exist and many others that yet do not are necessary to express thee each thing by virtue of thy divine intervention of love is an effort of life towards thee and as soon as our eyes are unseen we perceive this effort constantly o lord my heart is a thirst for thee and my thought seeks for thee constantly in a mute adoration i bow to thee